The largest things in Minecraft are the Farlands. In contrast to things like caves and villages, they have no size limits and can literally go on endlessly. Any Minecraft world created before version 1.8 will have access to the Farlands and any player can walk all the way and beyond them. So how far do the Farlands extend and what is on the other side? Well, in order to travel this far, we need to know how they generate in the first place. As a result of complex algorithms failing in versions 1.8 and below, at these specific coordinates the world warps and bends in many odd ways that are too complex to explain in this video, so we'll keep it concise. Minecraft uses an algorithm called 3D Perlin Noise to generate its natural terrain, and as you can see there are many pixels appearing and disappearing at once, and when 171.103 units are detected and recorded, it generates one one single Minecraft block in your world. Repeating this constant cycle will end up generating an entire natural Minecraft world. But once this cycle hits the 32-bit integer limit of 2.17 billion, this equation fails. And taking the 32-bit integer limit and dividing it by the amount of units needed to generate a Minecraft block, the result is 12,550,824 blocks, the exact same coordinates where the Farlands begin. Okay, enough of complex algorithms that are too complex for us to understand. So, how far do the Far Lands stretch and what is on the other side? The Far Lands The main Far Lands stretch from 12 million all the way to 1 billion blocks, and the further you travel out, the weirder things seem to get. At this stage, modding is already required to get to the edge of the Far Lands, as Minecraft has an integrated world border at 30 million blocks that must be broken to travel further. As we near the edge of the Farlands at 1 billion blocks, most things in Minecraft break down and simply stop working. These include lighting completely breaking down, redstone, string, rails and ladders all being stretched out. There are some other odd phenomena such as the cursed pistons and the hitboxes of objects breaking down as well as the void-like texture of an end portal. All of this is just a fraction of what goes on this far out, but let's move on to the next type of Farlands. The Fatherlands. The large distances between blocks at this stage can get a bit too much, so we use the Farlands as a unit of measurement and we'll round it to 1 billion blocks. We can call this one Farland. To add another sense of scale, we'll compare our large distances to real life scenarios with one block being equal to one meter. The edge of the Farland stands at 1 billion blocks, which compared to real life is roughly the distance between the Sun and Saturn. The Fatherlands in our scale spans from one Farland to around 53 million Farlands in length. To put that into perspective, 53 million Farlands is just smaller than one of the biggest stars in existence. Everything here really starts to break down, such as particles not being able to spawn in the right place relative to their block. The same problem also applies to end crystals as they also spawn very far from where they were placed. Books of enchanting tables sometimes never open and will stay closed forever. Mob spawning and the AI for mobs completely breaks down as well, as well as sleeping in a bed will occasionally put you somewhere else from where you actually slept. Getting to the edge of the Fatherlands requires more intense modding as the 32-bit integer limit prevents any normal players from venturing any further. This is just the beginning as the Fatherlands are simply the seeds for the Fatherer lands. The Fatherer lands are simply so far out from spawn, their size and range is way too large for us to perceive, but we'll try our best. The Fatherer lands span all the way from 53 million Farlands all the way to 4.3 billion Farlands in length. To put that into perspective, within this distance you could easily fit 4.5 Milky Way galaxies side by side. These are astronomical numbers and it is safe to say that no one will ever walk beyond this distance as the first ever person to walk to the normal Farlands achieved it in just under 10 years. And yet, there is still a scale even above the amount of blocks we've already travelled. The Farthest Lands this is the penultimate barrier to how many blocks can be physically travelled by a Minecraft player. The edge of the farthest lands is very key as to why no one thought it was possible to travel beyond them. The farthest lands range from 4.3 billion to 9.2 billion far lands in length. Compared to other jumps in numbers we've had, this may seem minor but in fact is in another new level of distance in itself. In this block range you could comfortably fit around 10 Milky Way galaxies side by side. 
However, no one thought travel beyond the 9.2 billion farland limit was possible as this is also the 64-bit limit of many computer systems as they refuse to generate any type of terrain beyond this point. It's time we end this insane competition and get to the final limit of Minecraft. The 1024-bit integer limit is the king of kings when it comes to the limit of Minecraft and this is the finale. 1.8 times 10 to the power of 308 or in our scale 17.9 trillion farlands in length. In a real life scale that is almost 1% of the distance of the observable universe. The distance of this border from spawn defies the imagination of any human being and it may very well be the largest distance ever possible to travel in any single video game ever. In any case, the Far Lands are mysterious and huge in distance and will stay as one of the biggest distances ever known to the video gaming community.